kind of murdered. She can keep well. By looking at cat populations and understanding, are these cats who live outside 100% of the time and have never lived in a, in a home, or are these cats who do have a home, an indoor home, who are allowed to go in and out? Based on the results of that, we can change our approach to whether we are looking at a strictly um, trapping and sterilization effort, or are we looking at something where we're reaching out to pet owners to say, let's talk about what's happening when your cat's outside and how you might want to change how you're caring for your cat. Two get out of his shelter space and into a home. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he is purring up a storm. <laughs> so he will make somebody a great pet. This cat and her kittens are in here just, um, again, so they've got some more space to run around and burn off some of that energy. There's about 200,000 cats in Washington, DC. And of those 200,000 cats, um, about half of them are indoor cats, indoor all the time, and about half of those have uh, some or unlimited outdoor access. So that includes both indoor outdoor cats, uh, stray cats, and feral cats. I don't think that you can find another wild mammal, another wild carnivore that occurs at that density anywhere in the world. I think that this is really sort of an interesting idea that we can have so many cats in such a small location.